This is how you can mitigate false buy and sell signals on Easy Algo with the Easy Oscillator. Now, just for this example, I'm going to be using these signals on the Heiken Ashi candles. Reason being is that these are trend trading signals, meaning you're going to be trading with the trend. So I like to use these signals on Heiken Ashi. You can use them on Japanese as well. It's really a personal preference. But when you're using buy and sell signals, a lot of the times you're going to be getting false signals. It's just a matter of time before you get a signal that doesn't work out. And around 80% of the time, I'd say you can actually mitigate these signals using the easy oscillator. So how do you do this, right? You're going to look to take the buy and sell signals when the oscillator is in these overbought or oversold zones or near those zones, right? So for example, this long here on LRC would be valid because we had that buy dot on the oscillator, right? It's in the oversold zone and we get that buy signal coming out of that oversold zone. That would be a long position for me. Put the stop loss below the previous swing low and then target, you know, these candle wick highs over here for a take profit, almost a three risk to reward ratio. This sell signal would also be a valid sell signal, um, it just happens to be a stop out. Um, you know, which does happen. So you're going to experience stop outs at times. There's no way uh, to kind of avoid that. This buy signal, even though it's a profitable signal, this wouldn't be a signal that we're going to take because the oscillator is already past the zero line. So the buy signals that we want to take are when the oscillator is at this oversold zone or at least near it, right? But when it's over the zero line entirely, the volume has been in blue. It looks like the volume is kind of decreasing a little bit, right? The volume looks to be going down. That's not a long position that we're going to take. But this sell position is why we have that sell dot on the easy oscillator in the overbought zone. We get that sell signal on easy algo. That is a short position that we are willing to take. Again, we're going to target the next support level, which is right around here. Again, almost a two risk to reward ratio. And you can just trade the other way, right? We reject from the support level. We get that easy algo buy signal. If you look previously, this oscillator was in the oversold zone with those buy dots. That is extra confirmation to go into the long position. As always, your stop loss is below the previous swing low and you're going to be targeting the next resistance zone. So another three risk to reward ratio. This is how you are able to make gains day trading on a you know 30 minute to one hour uh, to even two hour time frame. Once you start going to three, four hours, especially in a choppy market, it's best to not use Heiken Ashi candles and actually enter before the buy or sell signals, which leads me into my next point. You don't have to exclusively enter based off of these buy and sell signals. So for example, we got a mild sell signal here at this resistance level with these reversal signals with the oscillator in the overbought zone. So for me, that would actually be an entry for a short position. So I might not enter on the sell signal on easy algo. I'm going to use other easy algo confluences to help me enter before that signal. So I get the perfect entry, right? So again, enter that short position, take profit here at the next support zone. Um, probably would have been right here at these wicks after the first reaction. So somewhere around here, again, another three risk to reward ratio. Then again, we can take that buy signal. There are a few different ways you can trade this, right? Some people like to have a set risk to reward ratio, take profit at the next support or resistance level. And some people like to move their stop loss to break even. This is entirely up to you. Um, the only concern I have with not moving your stop loss eventually is that you'll get trades like this where we have, you know, the oscillator is oversold. We get that mild buy signal. We get that divergence signal. That's probably where I'm going to enter the trade stop loss below swing low. So we actually hit a one to one. But if we didn't move our stop loss to break even, that still would have been a stop out trade. So that's something else you can do. Um, if you're at a certain percent and you're happy with your gains, you can move your stop loss to break even because this is almost a 50% move on 10x leverage. And you just saw we had about four or five of these in the past week or two just on LRC on the one hour. So this is the power of you know day trading going to a higher time frame using the easy algo support and resistance levels and confluence with the buy and sell signals and the easy oscillator to help mitigate those signals if we look left right we're not entering on any of these buy or sell signals the oscillator is kind of ranging around that zero line volume is low right if we zoom in on the volume here on the oscillator it's extremely low there's not a lot of volume um, in this kind of market condition right now Volume is just kind of ranging. It's steady. Price is ranging. We're not really seeing 
um, any moves up or down. We're not really seeing any bounces from support or resistance. We're just kind of price is just kind of floating there in the ether. So that is not a trade that we want to take. These buy and sell signals are immediately mitigated. So these, although they're false signals, right, we're not taking any of those signals. So this is how you can use the oscillator um, to help you guys take better positions, better long and short entries, um, and become an overall profitable trader. And if you wanted to, you know, this sell signal is valid, right? We had that clean wave trend flip. We're near the overbought area. We also see that volume had flipped from red to blue. And then we get that sell signal on easy algo. Guys, this is money every single time. Probably put your stop loss around there. Target these lows right here. Um, so I'd probably probably be out of this trade right now. I'm um, almost a two risk to reward ratio. This again is low leverage day trading. Anyone can do this. All you're looking for is three or four things on your chart. Make sure to always use price action. Make sure that price is at a support or resistance level. Have these levels marked out in advance and have a plan. If price comes to a certain level, I'm going to look for X, Y, and Z on Easy Algo. And then if all of those confirm, I'm going to enter the long position with my stop loss here and my take profit here. And I'm not going to touch the trade, right? I'm going to enter the trade and that's that. So you need a plan beforehand, mark out your levels and use the confluences that we provide in Easy Algo. There's a reason we have the oscillator. It's not just there to look nice. There are reasons we have the mild buy and sell signals on easy algo. There are reasons we have the buy and sell signals. They're all supposed to be used in confluence with each other. So you have the highest probability trade and helps you avoid the otherwise false signals. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more trading content, and I'll see you guys next video.